Buju, welcome again to our little Minecraft world. And behind me, I have my barn all set up. Finally. And oh, <laughs> Tiny Dancer Diva left the game. That is my daughter. She's seven years old and she was just visiting. Um, she might pop back in later, but she's not going to be going on our adventure with us today. But I just wanted to show you our completed barn. Um, let me turn around here and I will give you a tour. I am having to record this again <laughs> because these cows are so loud. When I was in the barn, I turned my volume down and hopefully that'll help, but I won't be able to tell for sure for a while. But anyway, yes, here's my little two-story barn and... I decided to go with a, a stone brick roof because I kind of thought it, it reminded me a little bit of, of those tin roofs that they you sometimes see on barns. And I'm going to go in here maybe later with some mossy stone brick. Not sure. But anyway, let's see if you can hear me over these guys. I had a, a time-lapse video recorded of me getting all of these cows sorted into their little pods, but... It was accidentally deleted by myself. But here is the upstairs. And it's just basic, you know, place to sleep if we get caught outside. A uh, little bit of workshop. And then I'm going to add some um, storage here very soon. And that's it so far. The next bit is the trip to the nether to get the soul sand. I do have some bad news, I'm afraid. I lost our witch friend, unfortunately. I was working on a new build, and I got a little too close to her, and her zombie friend killed her when she poisoned him because she was trying to poison me. But... Let me show you our new build. I'm very proud of this one because it's not like anything else I've ever done. Ta-da! Nether portal. Ready to light. I don't know if I'm going to leave that black line there. But anyway, let's see how it looks when we light it. But first, we need to go get ready and get all of our tools together. Okay, we are ready to go. We are all geared up, and we even have a little piggy friend to bid us adieu. This is Oinky, by the way. My daughter picked him up and told me I am not allowed to eat him. So he's living here until we find him a home. <laughs> okay, let me turn around. All right, now we are ready to go to the nether. What do you need for your first trip to the nether? Well, you don't want to take anything important. But I am taking everything. What am I taking? I'm taking some stone, some gravel, which kind of can be a good elevator sometimes. I'm taking an extra. Oh, wait, I don't need to bring these, do I? We need an extra crafting table, a chest some stone, maybe some gravel. I always make sure and leave a set of flint and steel in the nether in a chest next to my portal in case anything ever puts the portal out. Uh, that way I won't be trapped there. I've got some extra picks, shovel. I don't need an ax, but I guess I'll bring it anyway. And my bow and plenty of arrows. So that should be enough and it's just getting dark. Perfect setting for this ominous journey to our deaths. Oh, and in case you're wondering, I did die one more time uh, in defense of that ridiculous um, witch over there. I was trying to save her life and died. There we go. Here we go. We're going on a trip in our favorite pair of boots. That already sounds bad. Get, let me out of the portal. I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. I wasn't stuck. 
Oh, there's a jump up. Okay. Cast. Let's put out some of these fires and build a little protective area for our portal for now. We could do a nice little nether hub in the future, but for now we are going to just give ourselves a little protection from attacks. And I have been trapped in the nether before because a ghast tried to blow me up while I was standing next to the portal and the little explosion killed my portal and I ended up having to throw myself into lava in order to go home because I had no way to relight it and I didn't have the sense to try and see if I could figure out another way to light it without it. I've since learned that you can, in, in nether fortresses, find um, extra flint and steel, or there's also the possibility of getting a gas to reignite a portal by having them shoot at you while you stand in it, but that is pretty difficult, and I'm not sure I could pull it off even if I had no known to do it. But anyway, so we're going to make a little sort of house here to protect and sometimes having a bright structure makes it easier to find your way back home again when you have a nether portal house. I, I used to, before coordinates on Pocket Edition, I got lost so many times and uh oh, we are now out of stone. I didn't pack quite enough. Well that's okay, we got enough for a bit of protection. I'm not quite as um, a fraidy cat anymore whenever I play, but playing on an iPad, the controls are a little bit more difficult, so you still have some trouble. Yes, it can be very difficult to try and do things like hit gas balls back at them. But let's, let's see how we do. Let's give it a little go. This guy's starting to Hello! Can you see me? Hey, shoot at me! No. Can't get his attention. Let's see if this will get his attention. Oh, first shot. Well, I ain't afraid of no ghast. Well, we are very high up. I'm not quite sure which way to go. Should I just collect the basic necessities, or should we explore a little bit? I have to say I'm pretty tempted to explore. Okay, first things first, do not forget the coordinates of the nether portal. 21... Minus... Hey, look at that. 21 minus 21. I can remember that. Next, let's go this way put like a little torch here to show me how much closer I am to home and we'll go down this way. Ooh, those ghasts are loud. Hmm, that's still quite a long way down. Well, in case you're wondering, the reason that I brought the gravel was so I could make an elevator going downwards. And are you gonna notice me yet? No. I really should take you out before you knock me down. <laughs> Who are you gonna call? Gast Busters. Oh man, just when you think you get rid of one, there's another one. I think in this new update, there seems to be a lot more gas than there used to be. Okay, so we just pile this up, and then, once we get it up closer to us, we can just ride it right down. Okay, and then I'm going to leave that there so I can kind of remember where I was in the first place. So I can find my way back up, if I'm lucky. Oh! Ah. Feather falling. 
I really would like some feather falling. Guess two. Oop, there's the soul sand we need the most. Ugh. I can't resist. I'm gonna have to go after it. I have to say, soul sand kind of creeps me out, though. Have you ever really looked at the texture? I mean, they're basically supposed to be screaming souls, and that's exactly what it looks like to me. It's awful. <laughs> I would love to decorate with it because it's kind of a cool chocolatey color, but it's it's just kind of too horrible for me to think about actually decorating with the screaming souls of whoever's trapped inside the sand. <laughs> I think I'm overthinking it. Okay. First mission accomplished. We also need... Oh, hello. Oh, yes. Again, again, again. We got you. No. Come on, return to Cinder. Oh no! There's two. They're ganging up on me. Oh. Are you going to shoot at me? I think they're getting too high. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to do something about that. Hmm? Double hitter. Let's get some of this... Some of this quartz. Another suggestion I have for, for the nether is um, considering how easy it is to die, especially early game when you don't have very good armor um, or you also don't have potions of fire resistance, then you, um, one of the best ways to, you know, not lose all of your loot is to just make little mini trips back to your portal, back to the thing that you, um, the chest that you put up there, and then you can, you can get rid of anything imp uh, important that you might have picked up, like gas tears and quartz and soul sand if that was your objective or nether wart I have to say a couple of times I have oops oh no no don't die don't die don't die don't die please don't die ah okay phew I'm getting distracted talking again okay so the um what was I saying drop off your stuff don't die <sighs> Oh yeah, small trips. Thank you. <laughs> small trips back to your portal so you can can at least get your stuff back there because, um, like in the case of Nether Wart, it took me forever to find a Nether Fortress and I went and I cleaned out all of the Nether, uh, Nether Wart that I found and then died on my way home. And so all of the Nether Wart that I had found and collected was gone. And then I was stuck um, trying to find another fortress and it had taken me forever and I had to travel another 500 blocks in a different direction to find a new nether fortress so I could get some potions started. It was incredibly frustrating. All right, I am going to um, collect my resources and make a couple of trips back to the little chest that I put up and then we are, I will bring you back. I will bring you back if, excuse me. That's, that's my stare. Can, thank you. Okay. I am going to put my stuff away. I am having so much trouble thinking with that ghast shrieking in my ear. Where are you now? Oh, coming for me now. Nope. Maybe not. <laughs> How many is that we've taken out already? This has been a very successful trip. I might actually get overconfident. I'm having too much fun. Okay. Well, let me bring you back if something interesting happens. Hmm. Well, I got it on video. <laughs> Oopsies. Aha. Oh. 
Oh, we live. <laughs> I don't know how. Ah. Boom. Goodbye. Hmm. Oh, yes, we have a pick. <sighs> well, <laughs> at least most of our stuff survived. I thought it was all going to disappear into lava. Okay, yes, I was going to go and collect more resources. And then I died. And so now I'm going to go and collect more resources and put my pants back on. <gasps> Look at that! We found it and it's pretty close. It's pretty close to our base. Oh, this is wonderful. Okay. Well, only died one time so far. Haven't needed... Oh, and some glowstone right here too. Oh, okay. We hit the jackpot. For sure. So we came up here and I put these little baby bumpers up so that um, we can get out fairly easily in the future without being attacked by wither skeletons. And I don't think I'm gonna baby bumper the whole place, but it is usually how I deal with things. And I'm hoping that this one has some nether wart. Please let there be nether wart here. Oh, there's a skeleton. Are you going to come for me now? I should eat. Before taking on Wither. Skeleton. Wither. Very big difference. These guys are usually pretty good at killing me. Yep. Oh man, they do a lot of damage. Oh, don't die. Don't die. Please. This. I spend most of my time just like, please let the effects wear off before I die. Oh, can somebody remind me next time to use my shield? I keep forgetting I have it. Spawner. Hello. Ah! Come on! Oh, I am gonna die, aren't I? Oh, please stop. And I was blocking. I was totally blocking. Did you see me squat? I was totally squatting. I wonder if you can still see me. Yep, yep, you can. Ah, die! Oh, dead, 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 dead. Oh, man. <laughs> ah! Foxy Fiery Fury died in fire. Okay, let's try that again. Almost back to our stuff, guarded by many, 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 many enemies. Oh no, what do we do? Hmm. Can you get to me? No. Okay. I'll worry about you later. that I forgot to put my chest plate on. I thought I had it on, but I did not. Okay, sword? No sword. Axe. Axe, then. Doesn't do nearly as much damage. And no food. Okay, gotta find food. Do we have any arrows? Also don't have arrows. Okay. Well, at least we got a little bit of something. Ah, oh, there's the pig. Hey, food, hey, food. Oh, 
hide, hide, hide. Boop, boop. <sighs> Rotten flesh. That's not gonna be. Good. Hmm. Can we get that pick? How important is it that we get it? I don't know. Death number three. Okay, my one hope is that we can get that bow back. I don't need the arrows, just the bow. Man, that's cool. I gotta say, I'm pretty proud of this portal. This is a lot of fun to make. I've never done anything quite like that, but I was trying to kind of go with this purple, like the, the portals just leaking. What do you think? You think we can get it? Come here, bow. I did get the boat. Good. Okay, that's good news. Do we need anything else? Mm -hmm. Not really. <laughs> Death number four. A break. I just do not understand why it takes so long for your hearts to go back up. I know in Java edition it goes much faster. Either that or I have been much deceived by the other Minecraft players on YouTube. Okay, this is a dead end anyway. Nope, 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 Party hole. Well, I think that's about all I can handle of the nether today. How many was that? Was that five? I think I lost count. <laughs> so I'm just going to take my loot back to our base and use what we've got. Let's see what we've got. That nether fortress was very disappointing because it did not have nether wart. I finally just gave up. Let's see, we have leftover beef. We got two blaze rods. We still can't make potions though, not until we find some nether wart. Two gas tears, a bunch of glowstone, not as much quartz as I wanted, but that's enough for now. And soul sand. And I will, I've got my good bow. It's not exactly a great bow, but it's, um, it's mine. I got it fishing. Yes, let's take that home and let me show you how the cow farm will work next.
Mission accomplished. We now have a fully functioning cow farm. Let me show you how it works. We're gonna go to the side and I'll show you from underneath. So I closed up this hole here and the outlet is right here. And I'm just gonna demonstrate once. And then I'm going to figure out a system for those babies and take down some of those trees. I dug out a little hole here so you can see the inner workings. And so all the cows are standing here and you just feed both of them. There we go. Still managed to waste weed. It's a lot easier to do from above. Okay. So the little baby cow falls down. Hello. You're quite lucky. You get to show off our little mechanics here. <laughs> And you have the very good fortune of not dying today. Okay, go in there. That's the one bad thing is, is that if they don't want to go, hey little guy, can you please go up the chute? There you go, good job. Oh, all the way. There we go. Whenever you do multiple, they'll feed each other. And where'd he go? Popped out. There. Thank you for letting me, for being a part of my experiment. Now be free. That's it. That's how it works. And I am going to spend my off time building up a little place for the baby cows and probably moving the chicken area up here so we can keep everything in the barn and we can get that sound of chickens out of my little bunker here. And I'm also going to clean up this part right here. But that was our nether trip and it was <laughs> a little embarrassing, but that's okay. We had fun, right? I won't be going into the nether next time since I've got mostly everything I need. We'll, we'll start on our enchantment room and we'll worry about potion making in the future. Um, my kids are going to be joining us in an episode probably next time because they are very, very... Hey, where'd you go? Oh, hello, Lil. Hello, Guardian. I still don't have a name tag for you. And Gab. Oh, by the way, Gab, um, I don't have any cyan yet. I know you said blue is okay, but um, I'd really like to get cyan anyway. So that is also going to be one of the next things that I do is go and look for some cactus or emeralds and I could just buy some cactus from Sam over there somewhere. But anyway, that is going to be very, very soon. But um, I also want to, oh, do I have enough chicken for you guys? Ooh. Steak. How would you guys like some steak? Hmm? Let's make sure I don't give you a pop on the head again. That's the bad thing about Minecraft PE. So you always smack things unintentionally. All right. Well, I'm going to leave you here in front of our little fire again because I do love fire. I had a great time in the nether and I hope you did too. And I hope you like our interesting builds we've got going on here. Please leave me some feedback. Let me know what you'd like to see more of. Or if you'd like to see me doing these builds. You know, the thing is, is I don't really record them because they do take me a while and I spend a lot of time like going back to look and then building and then taking it apart and then going back again. And, you know, there's, there's always tweaks and changes that I feel like I need to be doing. And I, I just can't focus on talking at the same time and you're going to notice how much of my um, nether adventures have been edited because I was trying so hard not to keep dying in repetition that I was having trouble talking and focusing on, on two different things at once. So um, <laughs> if I were playing without trying to talk at the same time, I probably wouldn't have died nearly as much. But that's all right. It's a learning process and we're learning together. And so I just want to thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button and I'd really love it if you'd leave me a comment because I love hearing your input and um, any, any ideas for the future would be wonderful. So, um, and if you really, really do like it, 
please subscribe because I am trying to keep these coming and um, this one's a little later than I'd hoped but two a week seems fairly reasonable so that's kind of my plan. If you want to see any other kind of content from me let me know and I will think about it. But until next time, bye. It was great seeing you again. Bye.